Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR on Linux when playing games launched through Steam or Lutris. Now, if you're unsure what FSR is, it is AMD's upscaling technology and it's designed to boost frame rates by playing games at a low resolution and then upscale them to your monitor's native resolution. This is in direct competition to NVIDIA's DLSS, but unlike DLSS, SSR will actually work on modern GPUs from both NVIDIA and AMD, and not just NVIDIA's 20 and 30 series. In fact, you can find a full list of the supported GPUs on AMD's site. So to enable FSR on Linux, you will need to be using a custom version of Proton or Wine, depending on what platform you're using. And you also need to be running the games in full screen mode and not windowed. For example, for Steam games, you're going to be using version 6.13-GE-1 or a newer build of Proton GE. So first of all, you need to download and extract that particular archive. Once you've done that, take a copy of the extracted folder and go to your home directory. Then enable hidden files, go to .steam, root, and compatibility tools.d. Obviously, if that folder does not exist already, then create it. Inside this folder, you want to paste that archive we just uh, copied. In Steam, select the properties of the game. And under launch options, make sure you have wine underscore full screen underscore FSR equals one and then the command prompt. What will happen now is when you load up the game, you can select a resolution lower than your monitor's native and SSR will upscale the image. Alternatively, if you've got a game in Lutris, then you'll be using the 6.14-GE-1 or newer build of WineGE. But once again, download this archive and extract it. Take a copy of the extracted folder and go to your home directory. Once again, if not already done, enable hidden files. Over this time, we're going to local, share, Lutris, runners, wine, and inside here, you want to paste the copied folder. In Lutris, right click on the game, go to config, go to system options, make sure you've enabled show advanced options, and scroll down to the section that has environmental variables. And you want to make sure that you've got in the key, wine at full screen underscore FSR, and the value of one. Once you've done that, click save, and then launch the game as normal. Again, all you need to do is select a resolution that's lower than your monitor's native, and then FSR will once again upscale the image. So normally at this point, I'd be demonstrating the difference between FSR enabled and it disabled, but since I only have eight 10, 1080p monitors, the results are not going to be that great. Therefore, I recommend that you check out some videos by Birotech, as he has basically side-by-side -side comparisons of FSR enabled and disabled. In conclusion, FSR is a great addition to the Linux Gamers Arsenal, especially if you've got a 2K or a 4K monitor, and you've also got a GPU that struggles to play these games at that native resolution. Of course, the result that you're going to get is never going to be as good as running its native resolution, but out of all the footage that I've seen so far from various content creators, upscaling from 1080p does tend to produce the best results and anything probably below that is not really worth the effort. Either way, it does bring this video to an end. Thanks for watching guys, and if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, check out the rest of the content on the channel, and subscribe if you like what I do. Either way, I'll see you soon. Bye now!